Hi guys and welcome, this is Skylanders Ring of Heroes and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Aethers, the gear for your Skylanders. So we're going to be taking a look at what gear you should be taking to plus 15 um, and have a look at how much that's going to cost. But first let's just uh, break down the Aether dungeon just a little bit so we can see what's going to be optimal when we're farming these Aethers. Okay, so we're in the Cyclops Aether Fortress. Um, and the first thing you can see is that there's six different floors. So among these six floors, there's going to be a, a rarity of ether that you can acquire from them. So level one, you're going to be getting two star pieces of gear, up to two star pieces of gear. Level two and three, up to three star pieces. Four is going to be four star, five, five, and six, six star. Um, but also, they're kind of grouped together. So one and two is going to cost you three energy per entry. 3 and 4 is going to cost you 4 energy per entry and 5 and 6 are both going to cost 5 energy per entry. Uh, so that's uh, a little something to take a note, especially for you free to play players. If you're going to be farming these dungeons, you want to be trying to be as uh, efficient as possible when you're farming. So you're going to want to aim in for the highest um, floor for those uh, energy tiers. Uh, so that's going to be 2nd floor, 4th floor, 6th floor. Um, okay, so the first few levels, I'm not going to concentrate on too much. Um, the main ones are going to be floor 4 and, and the 6th floor. So the 4th floor is kind of the midpoint in your game. Everything below this uh, isn't going to matter too much, like uh, two, 2 star and 3 star pieces of ether. Uh, 1 star, 2 star and 3 star pieces of ether, we're not going to be maximizing them. It's not going to be worth it. We're just going to get enough just to, to level up. Maybe like plus 6, maybe plus 9 until we can get onto the fourth floor and we can start farm farming that floor. So before you progress onto floor five or floor six, you're going to be wanting to stop here and farm out a lot of ethers. And you're going to want four star ether in every slot in your main team. Now I'm saying this for a reason because um, like in my opinion, it might be different from other people's. People might be saying just get enough until you can do the fifth floor then farm on that uh, until we get the sixth floor but um, I don't agree with that I kind of think differently I think if you stick to the fourth floor until you maximize all four star runes up to plus 15 on all your Skylanders then you can skip floor five and then go straight onto floor six you should be able to do that with fully four star max gear if you've got a nice synergized team and there's kind of like three main reasons why I would do this um, and why you should consider doing this as well. So first reason being, um, as soon as you start doing the fifth floor, you're going to think, oh yeah, five star piece of gear, brilliant. Uh, the drop rate is pretty low on the fifth floor. So it's going to be a while before you come across anything that's de decent. And five star and six star pieces of gear, you are going to be wanting to get legendary pieces. Not epics, not rares, legendary. Because this is going to give you the maximum amount of rolls you can get on your substats. So definitely legendary is the way to go from 5 star and 6 star uh, pieces of ether. Number 2 is going to be energy efficiency. So I know we're going to have grinded a lot on 4th floor. But if we go to 5th floor, we're going to be less rares. And it's going to cost the same amount as what it would for the 6th floor. So if we go skip the 5th and go straight to the 6th, then we are farming the highest tier for the same amount of energy as we would have been for the fifth floor. So we're getting better loot, which kind of goes into the third reason. So the third reason is going to be that you will be getting six star pieces of gear from doing this as well. By moving up straight to the sixth floor, um, you're going to be getting six star drops, but also you're going to be seeing a lot more five star pieces, especially five star legendary pieces, which is the kind of ether that we want to target. And altogether, doing the sixth floor, farming that for the same amount of energy as we would for the fifth, we're going to get a lot more back in ether that we're farming. So much more efficient and to do to move straight to the sixth floor as soon as we can, rather than stick around on the fifth floor. That's what I did it in my games anyway. Um, and that seemed to work out for me really well. If you have all, if you have your Skylanders equipped with four star max gear, then they're, they're going to be empowered pretty nicely. And it's going to be a hell of a while before you can get like a fully six star geared Skylander. That is going to take a long time. So at end game, what you want to, your, your first goal should be getting your Skylanders into five star legendary maxed out gear because that is a, an obtainable goal 
and we're gonna see very soon why that is <laughs> and that is all down to the cost of leveling uh, ether so now that that's out of the way let's take a look and kind of get an idea of how much it's gonna cost to be leveling these up so like I said I'm not gonna start with the lower pieces so we're gonna start off with a four star piece of gear and see how much it's gonna take to level this up to plus 15 okay so we've got our Skylanders up we're going to want to pick something that's going to benefit us. So we found a four star piece of gear that uh, is going to, that looks good. That looks like we're going to use it on something. So just taking a note of my resources, we've got 3.3 million gold and 112,000 ether. So this should see us through a maxed uh, four star piece of gear. Um, Obviously, you guys probably already know this, but you start off with a percentage chance to proc an upgrade. Uh, the further up you get, the lower this chance gets. Uh, every time you fail, it adds a bonus rate on there to bring it back up again. Um, so I'm just going to stick this on auto all the way up to 15. And let's see how much this is going to cost. Let's go. You can see that cost of uh, gold and ether is uh, increased every time we gain a level as well. Uh, so one thing to note, this is not going to be an average, an average of how much it's going to cost. This is just uh, a one-time uh, upgrade. It's going to give us a rough idea. So we're going to round it up to the higher figure um, and you know, it's probably, it might differ from you guys. We could have good RNG or we could have bad RNG in trying to level this up. Um, so, you know, it's just an estimate. It's these last few ones that really get frustrating. Come on. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, we've got the last one to go. Okay, so we got to 15, plus 15 on a four star piece of ether. That was quite a bit for, for that four star. I think that was a bit more like bad RNG for that plus 15. Um, so we're looking at uh, in gold, that costs 414,000 gold. And that costs 52,000 ether. We can kind of probably max when we look at it is 500,000 gold. 60,000 ether. Probably wouldn't go any higher than that in getting a plus 15. So as long as you've got like up to that amount, then you're pretty good for a plus 15 four star piece of gear. Now, if you wanted to get a whole character kitted out with plus 15 four star pieces of gear. So, okay, so let's round that up a bit <coughs> closer. Uh, so if we round the gold cost up to 420,000 and the ether cost to 55,000, let's say those are good figures. Um, they're a little bit higher than what we got from this. Like I said, I think this is bad RNG, so it's probably not going to be much higher than that for you guys. Um, so if we wanted to f fully kit out all six slots, four star plus 15, then it's going to cost around 2.5 million gold and around 330,000 ether. Uh, so at 14 4, <laughs> you're looking at 10 million gold and 1.3 million ether. So that sounds quite a lot. Um, but you know, you're not going to be doing this all in like the space of a few days. This is going to be spread out over your whole, uh, you know, over like a week or two of progression. 
so it's not going to seem that drastic once you're doing it <clears throat> um okay so we had a look at that wow that was a bit more in ether than i thought it was going to be um so next let's take a look at uh five star pieces okay so i'll switch to over to a different character for this one because i've got some upgrades that i want to get uh, this guy's fully kitted out with five star pieces uh so let's do a five star piece of gear i'm gonna go with the weapon first one to do hell on this character um okay so for this one we've just got just under three million and eighty-five thousand ether so let's uh let's do it for this one let's plus let's max out this piece So as you're switching over from uh, <clears throat> from four star max into five star pieces of gear, you're gonna kind of see like, you're not gonna see much benefit until you get into the mid uh, to later levels in terms of stats. Uh, more to do with the later levels, because um, up to the first, uh, every three level ups, uh, you get an increase to your sub stats until plus 12. Plus 12 is your last sub stat level up. And then the final level at plus 15, it gives an increase to your main stat on that piece of gear. It gives it a little boost on the final one. Uh, and that's where you're gonna see the main stat increase. Okay, so we're up to plus nine. We're about halfway through our resources. gonna make it we've still got four more levels to go it's gonna be pretty tight for this one Okay, last one. I've usually got this thing, especially on games like this, and leveling up uh, gear pieces. I like to switch between auto and then single power-ups, so I hope I get a bit more luck with it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't always work out that way. Okay, so we've got to plus 15. Let's take a look at how much that cost to get to max out a five-star piece of gear. Okay, so to get this legendary five-star piece of gear to plus 15, it costs 1.9 million gold and 78,000 ether. That's almost four times the amount of gold from four star to five star. But when you put that into terms of <clears throat> fully maximizing one unit on five star legendary gear up to max 15, you're looking at 12 million gold. And if you're looking at 480,000 ether. And if you want to do that for a full team of four, that's 48 million and two million ether. Again, quite a lot. Um, but you know, you can see the increase as well from four star to five star. Ether doesn't increase too much, a great deal, but gold starts to take more of a uh, uh, more of a huge cost <laughs> to get them upgrades up. Um, okay, so we've done this one. Um, okay, so I'll switch over to my main account where I've got uh, some more resources saved up. Also, um, guys, one thing to note as well, I've been going through this video, I've just been leveling up uh, legendary pieces of ether. If you are upgrading um, you know, between four and five uh, for your four star gear um, and your five star, I guess, you can use uh, heroic pieces or rare pieces and the cost is gonna be lower. So, you know, especially for four star, don't be afraid to do the rare and uh, epic pieces and just get that lower cost in there. You're probably going to want to do that anyway, just as long as it's got like two decent uh, 
uh, substats that complement the Skylander that you're going to put it on, then that's not too much of a big issue. It just means you miss out on a few substat rolls, but at the lower level of the four stars, it's not going to be a massive, uh, a, a huge difference. Um, at five stars, I still recommend Legendary just because five stars are going to be your main bread and butter for your unit with only a few six star pieces of gear upgrades until you get much further into the game. Um, <clears throat> and here we are, we're at the stage where we're going to do a six star piece and you're going to see why that is in just a second. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so as you're going to be farming floor six of the ether for dungeons you're gonna be getting some six star pieces now six star legendary pieces are the ones you are want to get gonna want to get and you're probably gonna have hold on let me just sell these um and you're probably gonna have a load of six stars that you don't want to touch that you don't want to upgrade and that's gonna be down to substats now <laughs> a lot of min maxing at end game is gonna be six star pieces of gear rolling up to probably plus three or plus six and if you're not procking on the substats that you want, you're probably just going to want to get rid of that piece of gear until you find one which does proc on the substats that you want. This is what min-maxing is going to be all about in endgame. Um, and it's going to cost a lot of resources to do, uh, no doubt. Uh, but yeah, just be mindful if you're upgrading six star pieces of gear. Be mindful of what the substats are and what the procs are at each, uh, each of the power-up stages. Okay. Now for the big one, this is going to be for six star legendary. Let's see how much this goes. I hope I've grinded enough ether this time. Uh, I did try and do this last time. Uh, only had 140,000 ether and it wasn't enough. Uh, so this is going to be a big one. This is going to be a huge cost. <laughs> okay, so we've got 27 million gold and 240,000 ether. We're going to get this all the way up to plus 15, hopefully. And then we're going to see how much it costs to do that. So here we go, plus 15. Let's go. We got a crit damage on that, that's nice. HP proc. Oh god, these percentages are getting like really low now. <laughs> Um, we're at plus nine and it's thirteen point seven percent. So we got a defense proc on that as well. So, right before we go any further, like this is plus nine. If this was something I wanted to put on a DPS for PVE content, um, this six star piece would be no good. I'll probably get recycle this right now and start again, just because like I'd want to get more crit rate and more crit damage rather than defense and HP. Uh, just for the level of content that's out there right now, if you're gearing with like, if you're mainly 5 star and 6 star pieces of gear, you're not going to need all that HP and defense or your units. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, if it was something like PvP, it could still be usable on there because you've got more sustain uh, with, with, this, uh, with this piece of gear. So... I don't know, if you're getting rolls like this, it's still usable. It's, you know, you could put this on a, a tank, a defender character or a support to give them a bit more survivability. Although if you was doing that, you probably would want some kind of effect resistance as well. But, so definitely still usable, but that's just where you have to make up your mind whether you want to kick carry on with this piece or move on to another piece to get like I don't know on a DPS Skylander you probably want to max out those maximize those uh, DPS stats but anyway let's carry on carry on I 
seal we'll let uh, get for these ones. Hopefully we'll get a crit rate so it's a uh, very like balanced uh, piece. And you can do it. Let's go. So at this point, <laughs> this is where your resources are just gonna drain. God, I don't know how many attempts that has had, but we're not gonna proc it all on this. This is where it gets worrying, like we might not be able to do it. Just gonna do a few manual. Hopefully to increase that chance, although probability would have been more likely to keep it on that. So we're at plus 12 right now. The power up rate is 7%. That is really low, especially for the cost. Every time we hit this power up button, it's costing 2.4 thousand ether and 130 thousand gold. And we've still got three more to go. Let's take it back on auto. So every time we fail, the bonus rate is going up by 0.4%. Okay, we got to plus 13 and it's gone to 5.5%. This, this last little bit is where it's going to drain your resources. Uh, but hopefully, we've got one more to go. It's looking up, 2.5% chance and we got it, nice. We got nice RNG on that last one. Uh, and we got a double proc on the crit damage. Um, okay, so let's see what we've got for. See how much that cost to get that five to get that six star legendary piece up to plus fifteen. Uh, okay, so from that piece again, from that legendary six star piece of ether, from zero to plus fifteen, that cost uh, nine million gold and 177,000 ether just for that one piece. Um, <laughs> to be honest, the, the subset rolls weren't even that great. Uh, but I mean, we got plus 16 crit damage with a 6% crit rate flat, uh, with a base 6% crit rate, uh, double def uh, a defense proc and a HP proc. So we have a bit of survivability with that. Uh, kind of great we didn't get any crit rate on that either or a uh, triple crit damage but you know it is what it is that's another six star in the pot and the and the difference between five star and six star is uh for the main attack for the for the base uh, attack is 124 attack we're getting from that <clears throat> so you know not too bad but <laughs> that's how much it costs that is that is insane so almost 10 million gold so 9 million gold 63,000 ether nope 9 million gold 177,000 ether uh, so we've round that up to like 180 ether and 10 million gold for a full set of six star legendary pieces you're looking at about 60 million gold and 1 million ether for a full team of four that's going to be 240 million gold and 4.3 million ether uh so that's a lot of grinding <laughs> um <clears throat> so yeah absolutely crazy so this is why you probably give me one of kitting out your guys with five star max gear before you even consider six star pieces <clears throat> just for the uh for the costs so the from five star to six star the ether has um like more than doubled <coughs> uh, the gold increase is like <coughs> multiplied by five 
which is the biggest thing. Every time that every kind of uh, tier of ether you're going to upgrade, the more and more gold is going to cost. This is why a lot of people were uh, mentioning gold before, how gold was like a, a big drain. I didn't see that before because I was leveling up like four star pieces at that point. Uh, but yeah, five stars, not too bad. It's easily manageable. But once you get into six star pieces, that gold, that demand on that gold is really high. But yeah, there you have it. That is kind of the estimates for your for the main pieces of ether that you're gonna want a plus 15. Um so that's gonna be first up four star. We're gonna be spending uh, roughly around uh four hundred thousand uh four hundred and twenty thousand gold and fifty-five thousand ether for a maximum five star. That's legendary epics rares they're going to be less to upgrade so you can go for those if you want you just be losing out on a few uh, few sub stats but it doesn't really matter at full star five star legendary is going to cost you uh around two million gold and around eighty thousand ether to fully max out plus 15 and a six star piece of legendary gear is going to cost you around nine million gold and around one hundred eighty thousand ether now these are estimates, you know, like I said, this is what I got. This is not an average. You guys maybe get, uh, might get like better or worse RNG than me. Uh, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> that is it for this video. Hopefully this helps you guys out in some way and gives you a, a better idea of how much you're, you're looking to, uh, how much you're probably going to be investing in upgrading your ethers uh, into your Skylanders. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you want to see any more of these videos in the comments below and also what you'd like to see. If you like this content, if it helped you out at all, please click that like and subscribe buttons and hopefully I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care guys, I'm out. Bye.